Hi everybody and uh, very welcome to Mentor and uh, the first new production in my series about aviation related subjects here on my new channel. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the channel so far. I know that it's been mostly reruns but uh, from now on I'll be producing new material and um, because my channel hasn't grown much yet it would be really appreciated if you guys would tell your friends that are of any kind of aviation interests about this channel and spread the word and I also really need you guys now to to send in questions and suggestions on new content because uh, otherwise I will be running out of things to say and uh, there will be no more in videos so please send me whatever you want me to talk about so what we're going to talk about today well um, today I'm going to talk about uniforms and uh, why we wear them, why they look like they do, and why it's really, really important if you do get your uniform, when you do get your uniform, to maintain the dress code and make sure that you look slick. Um, so, the pilot's uniforms that you see on today's pilot, they derive from the 1930s. Prior to the 1930s, um, commercial pilots were basically flying in um, bomber jackets, like... Um, Leather jackets, very very similar to um, the attire that the um, World War II pilots would have flown in, in their Spitfires and um, in their naval planes. Um, but after the 1930s, uh, Pan American Airlines, Pan Am, introduced this the pilot uniform that you're seeing today because they were starting to fly the Boeing 314, which is the flying boat, and they realized that in order to calm passengers down, they could dress them in a way that they looked like sea captains, like naval captains. And since the passengers would then look at someone that would look both as a pilot and like a boat captain, that would then calm them down a little bit. Uh, as Pan American Airlines grew bigger and more popular, uh, other airlines started to emulate their look and it spread through Delta Airlines and then pretty much all over the world and what you're seeing today is more or less the same kind of uniform as the original Pan Am pilots were flying in. So that's the historical aspect of it. Now um, when it comes to what you'll see on different uniforms, how to determine if someone is a first officer, if someone is a senior first officer or a captain, um, you will have the stripes. The, these are a couple of epaulets, uh, they will be sitting on the shoulder like this and also be presented on the arm sleeve on the uniform. Now, four stripes is the um, insignia of a captain. Uh, first officer will have either one, two or three stripes. Uh, some airlines use the one stripe for very inexperienced first officers or new employed. Uh, two stripes is the normal one, and when you become a senior first officer, uh, which differs a little bit when that happens in different airlines, you will get three, which is kind of the middle step uh, just before you join and get your command. So that's the insignia, that's what you're looking for if you want to find out if someone is a captain or first officer. Now, why is it important to have a uniform? Well. It's important for many, many aspects. Uh, first of all, you are, you are portraying a picture of the professionalism of your entire workforce. So pilots show how professional they are by how they look to the general public. If someone is sitting in the terminal building, a passenger sitting in the terminal building and they see a group of pilots walking by which are in night, nice, tidy, neat uniforms, that will calm them down, um, that will portray a picture of professionalism to them. If the same kind of pilots would come by in their own home uh, worn jackets and in trainers and the only part uniform, that will portray a completely different picture. So. When you, when you get your first job and you get your first uniform issued, think about that. Think about the picture that you're portraying to, um, to the general public when you're wearing it. So even if you have to pay for your own uniform, which is the case in some airlines, 
uh, even if you think that by doing that it's you don't really have to wear it you're still giving a picture of not only your airline but pretty much all of your colleagues in all other airlines as well so do maintain dress code all right so that's one thing the other thing is it's a tool that's what I'm telling everyone uh, when we have this discussion you can use your uniform as a tool um, anyone who is in full uniform is likely to um, to portray a more authoritative uh, picture to anyone around them which means that if you find yourself in a situation where you have to confront someone um, be that a passenger or uh, ground staff or a dispatcher or anyone really they are more likely to listen to you if you look the part so I have been in situations where I have for different reasons had to speak in front of my passengers you know instead of making a PA like you're used to hearing from the flight deck I've had to actually address my passengers directly and I was really happy when I had to do that that I did have my full uniform on me because I put everything on all the gold you have or everything that's shiny and you stand in front of the passenger and they become quiet and they listen now if I would have tried to do that in front of a, a full plane almost 200 people of really severely delayed passengers and I wouldn't look the part it is likely that they would have questioned my authority and someone would have spoken up and it would become a completely different situation so your uniform is not only there um, to look good it is actually a tool that you can use so please I'm telling everyone that when you have a uniform remember that you are portraying a picture of you you're portraying a picture of your airline you're portraying a picture of all your colleagues in the airline business and there might come a day when you actually wish that you had the uniform with you uh, if you are if you're not in the habit of um, having the full uniform with you so I really think that it's everyone's every professional pilot's responsibility to keep their dress code and to um, to make sure that you're looking good in the profession um, it might might be people that disagrees with me but that's my view anyway so if you have any questions on this please um, feel free to to send them in and I'll try to um, to respond like I do either in text form or I might respond in a different top podcast but for now um, Tell everyone you know about this um, channel and I hope you will keep following me. Thank you.